Little Mix and Sean DePaul with hair and good afternoon, Nick Grimshaw. Good afternoon, Gregory James. This is always excellent fun when you are doing Rage Against the Arts Machine. I really like this. I've Therapeutic. Got, I've got, um, I've got radio smile voice on. You know when people are just smiling on the radio? Hello, hi. We've got radio smile. Because I'm excited. I'm excited. Can I just say you're looking resplendent in a sage green. Well, thank you very afternoon. much. Thank you. It's part of my spring collection. <laughs> 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 so, Rage is today. We've got some brilliant ones that have been sent in over the last few days. Let's let's begin with one of yours, please. Grimmy, where are we going to begin? Okay, here's where we're going to begin. So yesterday, I was doing a big shop. And do you know when you know you're going on rage, you have to start like <laughs> figuring out what annoys you in your life. Well, I appreciate the effort. Right? And you're literally like looking at people, being like, right, what annoys me about Jenny? Because <laughs> you might use it. But yesterday, I was doing a big shop, and it was a big shop, right? So I had a trolley, not a basket, a trolley. So I parked my trolley up, loading everything on, takes a minute or so, goes through. There's enough items on there. The woman, would you like a bag? <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm not going to carry them home, am I? And then she says, like some sort of sick guessing game, how many bags will you need? And you're like, oh, seven. And she's like, seven. <laughs> I don't know how many bags I need. Why don't we just see as we go? Let's just see. Well, I need to know now. I quite like the guessing game. I if hate I... the guessing game. No, Anxiety. It's good, it's good because it it's... could be me and you on primetime BBC One. Well, the guessing game. Yeah. It's the guessing game. Nick Gre Nick Gre Nick James? What? Nick, Nick Gregshaw. Nick Gregshaw bring you the guessing game. How many bags will you need? I and it really annoyed me, the woman, because I had to guess prior <laughs> to her scanning. I said, I don't know. Do I? She said, well, guess. Don't want to guess. And then she did, this is kind of another one. You know when you get given your change and a receipt? Mm. And they make the receipt almost as like a tablecloth. <laughs> and then they put the change on top of the receipt. That doesn't work. That annoyed me as well. Are you so Susan in Sainsbury's did my head in yesterday, basically. Are you a, are you a chatty Cathy at a checkout? Yeah. Do you do talk? Yeah, I do talk. Okay, I was, yeah. I was, I was going to say, you, you'd strike me as someone who would strike up a conversation. Yeah, we were chatting. So I thought you might quite like the guessing game of the I bags. I didn't like the guessing game. It's stressful. It's anxiety. Because they pre-scan, so you could be losing 5p per bag. I got given two bags by accident yesterday. Yes. And no, but I didn't meet. No, Score. she she scanned both of them. And she was like, "Do you want a bag?" I went, "I'd like, I'd like one, please." So she did two. And I went, "I don't know how to get rid of one of them." Oh, that's five p down the drain. No, so I went, "Okay, well, do shall I, I'll take the other one then?" So I took the other one home, and Just she and the passing comment. She went, "You can use it in your bin." <laughs> I went, you "Oh, thanks, in your bin. thanks for the idea. Thank you. Don't use it as a bin liner." <laughs> <laughs> giving me household tips. <laughs> okay, let's begin with this one. That's the wrong button. Here we go. <laughs> now beep. Oh, my name is Becca, and what really drives me crazy makes me tamping, fuming, raging. Savoury pancakes. I mean, really. Savoury pancakes. Pancakes are sweet. Dessert. They are not savoury. You wouldn't put lemon and sugar in your fajita wrap. So don't put mints in your pancakes. It is just wrong. Take it off the menu. Ah! Mints in your pancakes? Mints in your pancakes. Do you like mints in your pancakes? Do I like mints in my pancakes? Do you like He doesn't have like no, mints in his pancakes. I love a bit of mints in my pancake. Now, um, where do you stand on this savoury pancake? Who's put mints in a pancake? Well, it's sort of a thing, isn't it? Sort of. Do you know what is in America, which is a real nation of weird stuff? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Granted. I, I went for a, 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 a dinner one night. My friend Joy said to us, I'll take you somewhere, she's American, she's from LA. She said, I'll take you somewhere really nice for your tea. I said, okay. And we went, and it was a waffle, so essentially a pancake, syrup, ice cream sort of scoops of butter, fried chicken, more syrup, hot sauce. I'd love that. And it was, it, it was all right. I didn't love it nor hate it. So, savoury pancakes, savoury with the sweet, I think, I'm, I think I'm all right with. So it does work? I think it did work, yeah. I think it might be all right. This, Where do you stand with it? Well, I I wouldn't have I wouldn't have mince in a pancake. I would have the, mince in a pancake. But the waffles. I don't like mince. That's a rage for me. You like mince, which is very ironic. What do you mean you don't like mince? I just I think it's too bitty. What do about you don't like a nice? What about lasagna? What mm. about a nice lasagna? Lasagna, I'm not crazy for. Bolognese. Bolognese, not crazy for. Chili oh. again, not crazy for. Really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay. I like other pastas. <laughs> you know what drives me absolutely mental? When I go into a pub, 
and ask for a glass of water or a restaurant or wherever that serves water. And they don't just give me water. They give me water with ice, which is fine, I suppose, with lemon in it. I didn't ask for lemon in my drink, did I? I didn't want lemon water. I didn't want cucumber in it either. Well, that's even worse. Then people say cucumber doesn't taste of anything. It tastes like cucumber. Of course it does. Otherwise, they wouldn't make them, would they? Absolutely. Absolutely. He's right. Do not. What, is, what are people doing? It's too much stuff if you get... I mean, some places that are insane put a slice of orange in a jug of water with some cucumber. <laughs> Am I at Wimbledon? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not into ice in water. No. And I, I know people always say, oh, room temperature water, is that stevery? No, that's less of a, a diva issue because mm. it's less of a process. I've got a weird one. I cannot, and I really can't uh. do it. It really, it really gets on me, my nerves. I can't do it. It makes me feel funny. Water through a straw. Oh my, you're right. I can't it do is, water through a straw. Weird. It is really weird. You're so right. I wonder if that's, you feel the same? I feel 100% the same, and I can't think why I've experienced that. I wasn't sure if I was going to bring it up or not today, but I feel like amongst friends I can. I can't get water through a straw. I, I don't like it. a soft drink through a straw. I don't like a soft drink. <laughs> All right, good, good place to break. Let's play Imagine Dragons and do some more rages next. As a child, you... uh, <laughs> it, is, it is quite a good one for rage, this one intense that isn't it warriors imagine dragons 20 past five on radio one grimmy is here doing rage against the entrepreneurs today loads of chat about not drinking water through a straw you two are idiots i can't <laughs> believe what you're, what you're saying and then someone else going gregory finally someone speaking the truth says kieran finally someone coming out and having the balls to say it you can't drink water through a straw because it's weird weird producer ian thinks it's because you're expecting a treat because it's a straw, yeah, maybe. so you're thinking, mmm, delicious orange or cola. On the way. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, just hydration. <laughs> a lot of chat, a lot of chat about the cucumber guy. Yeah. His wording is very interesting. In my drink, did I? I didn't want lemon water. I didn't want cucumber in it either. Well, that's even worse. And then people say cucumber doesn't taste of anything. It tastes like cucumber. Of course it does. Otherwise, they wouldn't make them, would they? Make them. They. You wouldn't make, they make they. cucumbers. Who are they and who's making them? <laughs> this man is not okay. We need to go and find him and check he's all right. They. They're making cucumbers again in the garden. They're making them. <laughs> Next up on today's Rage Against the Arts Machine. I think you're going to love this one. Greg, do you know what really, really dunks my biscuits is when people post on social media sites saying, don't listen to what the world tells you, do your own thing, or don't take anybody else's path, follow your own path, but then still insist that you follow and share and like their pages. Do not tell me I can go and do my own thing and then tell me to follow you. Ah! <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Good one. I love him. He has a really good point, though. He really does. They are annoying, those things. And also, ironically, you've, you've, you've taken that from somewhere else. So you've followed a path in order to repost <laughs> that. And then you're asking people to, again, follow your path. When Matt Edmondson was on this a couple of weeks ago, he brought up the, the, the point of those tag a mate who dot dot dot. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Those are the worst ones. The worst. It's no, just, you're just ain't looking for likes. For that. You're just looking for likes. My worst, though with the posting of social medias is people have started doing it on Instagram where they post like a picture of a quote but it's sort of a sort of a passive aggressive like you know that person lives but you know do they actually live inside when they're being mean etc and you're like what who is that aimed at one and don't really make sense too just text them it just text them it just either say something or don't <laughs> what are you trying to say uh, it's really and you've just copied it off the internet. You just you just googled passive aggressive image. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm going to do one. I'm going to Google passive aggressive image and send it to you. I'm going to do that to you as well. Um, <clears throat> a couple of people have kicked off about the water thing again. Just to go back on that point, water in a mug. Oh, I've done that before on here. I swear, it's my worst, my worst <laughs> thing. Worst. I, I hate it. It's my worst thing. It's like my number one hate. I hate it more than anything in life. It's my worst thing. 
Well, maybe we can... When I was a kid, if I go to people's houses for my tea, and they'd give you the classic fish fingers, chips and beans, and then they'd be like, here's, some, here's a cold drink in a mug, I would be like... Ne- never coming back in. <laughs> cold <laughs> drinks in mugs. No! Mm. Or, the worst is, a dark mug with water in it. <laughs> so it's cold, and you don't know really what it is... And then it tastes, you think you're having a hot drink, and then it's cold, and also it's flavourless because it's water. <laughs> <laughs> that really messes me up. It's because you're, it's like the straw thing, you're expecting a treat. You're expecting a hot drink. You get water. You don't know what it is because it's dark in there and you can't see what, what it is. How about this? Now, Greg, I'm a bit of a tidy Dave. I'm quite good with my personal habits, if you know what I mean. Tidy and my Dave. personal hygiene. But when you go to a public toilet, why do you get aggressive taps? You turn on the tap and it erupts over your groin area. It wasn't me. It was the tap. (laughs) I feel like these have really stepped up since the last time I was in here. There's some great rages today. (laughs) I would like to, I'd like to add to aggressive taps. Aggressive hand dryers. Mm. The loudest hand dryers in the whole world. The ones that just go... Ah! When you do... And you can it's, see your veins moving. It's hot. The whole room just starts shaking. Paper flying everywhere. The, the loo roll just unfolding. Seats, toilet seats flapping <laughs> up and down. Like the whole thing is just going... <laughs> like Jumanji. It is. Uh, a mate of mine, Ryan... He says that he can't open the door of the toilet to go back into the pub until the dryer is finished. Because it's just too embarrassing, because it's like a vortex in there. See, I quite like leaving, so it sh- improves to people that I have washed and dried my hands. <laughs> but behind Ryan, the door opens, just this. <laughs> <things go. laughs> people clinging to the ceiling, just... <laughs> I'm with you. All right, one more for luck. Greg, I need your help. I keep getting blamed for, for my dog farting. You're fine, you know, if it's me, I'll, I'll confess, but... If it's not me, and people start making a big commotion and blaming me, the more commotion they make, I find it funny. So then, of course, I'll laugh. Then I'll look really guilty. If I've done it, I'll, I'll openly confess that that was me. I'm really sorry about that. You might want to leave the room for ten minutes. But if it's not me, I, I just don't, don't know how to at least look innocent. It's really frustrating me now. Can you help? Ten minutes. Wow. As well. Ten minutes. Leave the room for ten minutes, please. Uh, You need to go go and see a doctor. I I have... Excuse me, guys. I have farted. Please leave for ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's a long time. Thank you. That will clear it. Put the hand dryer on. Anything longer than ten seconds, I think you've got got an issue down there. (laughs) So, uh, dog farts. Dog farts. See, I've got a dog who is... um, She's quite flatulent. Mm. She's quite smelly as a breed. And um, at the moment, I've got... Literally, I've, I've got someone... A, a workman in my house at the moment, and uh, he's doing some jobs and stuff. And the dog, <laughs> well, I assumed that. Right? No, no, I'm just saying he's doing the jobs and stuff. And he's not just like he's not waiting for you to come home. He's not my housemate. <laughs> uh, and and he's doing the work. And the dog keeps farting, but she obviously dog farts majority of the time they're silent. So I'm talking to him, and Pig will come up and hang out with us, and then she does it, and I'm like, he might think that's me. So I do have to blame it on the dog, and it's such a classic. Like, oh, the dog did it. It looks like you're lying. When the dog actually did do it. So I just want to say to Alan, who's in my house right now, it's the dog. Unless she's not farted since I've left. (laughs) What a great place to end today's Rage Against the Answer Machine. Grimmy, thank you so very, very much. Thank you, Gregory. What's on tomorrow, please, on the show? Tomorrow on the show, Damien Lewis. And we recorded it today because he was busy, and it was... Amazing. I think he's one of my favourite guests so far this year. From I loved him. 6.30 tomorrow morning, Grimmy back on The Breakfast Show. Damien Lewis joining him. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.